that's a movie about drinking, which is something that I don't even do. It's my one shame as an Irishman. My mindset towards alcohol was that if watching shitty Jing Chong cartoons made for autistic Japanese babies was enough to develop a crippling addiction that ruined the relationships I had with those I cared about the most, then maybe throwing alcohol or any drug into my body might be the worst idea ever. That being said, I am still Irish. I have gone to pubs and shit, cause duh. And The Night is Short Walk on Girl is a film that best encapsulates to me the atmosphere one might have on these sessions. The film is split up into three parts, and the opening segment is what I have dubbed the inside segment. It perfectly captures what it's like inside of a pub on one of these nights out. It's loud and abrasive, full of charm and rowdy fuckers, yet despite all of these audio-visual aspects of the night out, the fact that it's so hot and sweaty is what I associate with these experiences the most, and this is something that the film manages to efficiently communicate through its vibrant colour palette that effectively communicates something that you physically feel through a purely audio-visual medium. The second part is what I have dubbed the outdoor segment. It's what happens when the sweaty, loud atmosphere becomes too much for me to handle, so I take a step outside for a few minutes. All of a sudden, the vibrant, communal atmosphere of the pub is replaced with a quiet moment alone. This is something that is farther reinforced through the sense of touch, as all the sweat that you had unknowingly accumulated is exposed to the night air. This atmosphere is once again displayed throughout the book fair and musical segments of the film, as the crowd that had gathered in awe of the unnamed protagonist have dispersed, leaving her to a quiet moment alone, before succinctly searching for something new to entertain themselves. Yet, even once she's found something new to keep herself amused, the film still manages to capture that cool, solitary atmosphere of having just stepped out of the pub. The brief moment alone establishes a whole new colour palette via the night sky that the film continues to use throughout the remainder of the segment, meaning that even the crowd at the musical, in a purely aesthetic sense, is reminiscent of that quiet moment alone. It's like when that sudden cold wave that came from the quiet night hits you. Because it's juxtaposed against the rowdy atmosphere from the start of the night, it leaves a major impact. But as you get used to your new surroundings, you start to notice how you're still in the same setting you were in before. You're now capable of hearing the crowd still inside the pub, but it feels like an eternity ago that you were actually with them. The final part of the film is what I have dubbed the sicko mode segment. It's the aftermath of these nights out. Throughout the course of the night, the main group was split up into smaller and smaller groups, each one who engaged in their own stories. Now that all the pubs have closed, everyone is forced to either take to the streets or sleep under their sheets, all the while the atmosphere of the night sky swallows each individual up. This segment of the film seeks to address this event, hence the protagonist constantly visiting all the sick people surrounding her. The night is slowly turning to morning, a typical occurrence at these times, and with it the night owls are forced to return to their own isolated nest.